Lance says he's going to whoop Terrence Crawford based off who trains harder. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, the big homie Earl Spence recently put out some photos of himself training, and it stirred up a whole conversation. Earl Spence looks awesome, by the way, man. He looks really ready for this fight, really in shape really on point and i think it's going to be a brawl for it all when it goes down july 29th i'm flipping this whole boat i'm sinking them you better come with a, a submarine the usr china everything because like i said man i'm the biggest shark i want to get my due sense on what earl spence had to say and why he said he's going to whoop terrence crawford based off who trains harder all right, so why would he say he's going to whoop Terrence Crawford off of who trains harder? When it comes to training, I think both of these guys, they train really well. They train hard. They work on what they're good at. They stay with the basics. They both know the basics of boxing. Both have good fundamentals when it comes to boxing. But who has that extra mile? Who goes that extra mile in training? And... I would have to give the edge to the guy who wins the fight. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But I would have to give the edge to Terrence Crawford, actually. When it comes to training hard, hard training, probably training all the time, just working on your craft, I think Terrence Crawford is more in the gym working on different skill sets. But when it comes to, you know, hitting the pavement, running, lifting weights, you know, power type things, you know, working the heavy bag. I think Earl Spence would most likely take the edge in that. So I think it depends on what type of training you're doing. Both of these guys, it might be split down the middle when it comes to who trains harder, but it's going to be in different categories. Earl Spence is going to be training in the power category. Terrence Crawford is going to be training more in the technique and speed category. I would agree that... You know, he trains harder, but he trains harder in one category. And I would say that Terrence Crawford trains harder in the other category. Now, whose category is going to reign supreme? You know, you would think that the guy with more boxing technique, you know, the more technical guy will win the fight. He's going to take him into the deep waters and drown him and all that good stuff. I was undervalued, and it's been a long, long time. And it's been a long, long climb. I don't know what happens next, but I know I'm not going to stop putting one foot in front of the other every single day. The problem with that is we've never seen Terrence Crawford against this level of competition. So it's really hard to say can he pull that off versus Earl Spence. You know, kind of, sort of. I think he's had way better competition. You know, no, nothing to the level of Terrence Crawford, but... Most definitely, he's had the better competition when it comes to fights. So I do think he's more prepared. And sometimes preparation is the key to victory. You know, if you're the more prepared fighter, if you've been through more of these wars and you've had more of these opportunities to go up against guys that kind of mimic what Terrence Crawford does, then I think Earl Spence would be the guy you would say who's more prepared for this fight than Terrence Crawford. Now, preparation really could be a number of things. You know, it could be in training. It could be the fights you've been through. It could be the things you've done in life. I just think Earl Spence is more prepared when it comes to his resume and the experiences he's had in a boxing ring than Terrence Crawford. I think Earl Spence is bringing the power dynamic to the ring and if you look at Earl Spencer's body he's a big guy he's not a little dude by any means when it comes to the welterweight division I'm Moby Dick I'm the king ain't nobody stopping me it's strap season man down make sure y'all tune in y'all gonna see another great show and another performance so has Terrence Crawford ever faced up against a guy similar to that it would have been interesting if Terrence Crawford could have gotten the ring with a guy like Keith Thurman and perhaps beating Thurman uh, before he fought Earl Spence because it'd give you a better insight into 
how he handles a bigger fighter. You know, and that's that's been the biggest knock and the biggest critique when it comes to Terrence Crawford is he hasn't faced this style of fighter. He hasn't faced this level of competition at all in his career when it comes to 147. So, you know, I'm looking for more partners. I'm not looking for soldiers. I'm looking for generals. It's not embarrassing to bet on what you love, to stand unapologetically. It's going to be hard to gauge when it comes to guessing which one of these guys is more prepared based off of their training? Now, if you just look at their physique again, you know, and, you know, judge it off of that, Earl Spence looks really, really good. I haven't seen too many pictures of Terrence Crawford yet, you know, what his body looks like at this point in training. But I would say he's probably not too far off. He's never really out of shape. He's not a guy who walks around really, really heavy. That goes back to him being in the gym all the time. So I would never say that he's going to be out of shape, but is he in the type of shape you want to see him in to battle it out with a guy like Earl Spence? I mean, just look at the guy's body. <laughs> it, it speaks for itself. Terrence Crawford's going to have to do something to break him down. You know, He's going to have to land something early, whether it's a body shot that bothers Spence, or maybe he lands something to the chin that knocks him down, not out but knocks him down early, you know, that could be a good, you know, starting point for Terrence Crawford to win the fight, but I think it's an uphill battle, man, I think it's a real uphill battle, just looking at Earl Spence, you would have to, you have to believe that it's going to take for Terrence Crawford to beat on this guy for 12 rounds, just to slow him down. Is that an insult? Is the bullfrog waterproof? And then perhaps in the 12th round, he can pull it off, but... In all actuality, when you look at Earl Spencer's physique and what he's bringing to the table as far as how he looks and, you know, his skill sets, it's just an uphill battle for Terrence Crawford, man. Uh, I think it's going to be a great fight, though. I think the early rounds, nobody's going to want to miss those early rounds because there's going to be a lot of fireworks. And whoever survives that first firefight, is going to be the one who wins the entire fight. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. The like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the tubes. So holler at me over there. If you want to collab or feature a product or your channel on my channel, then hit my Gmail. It is a flock of cards at gmail. Yeah. And we are back. It's Lewis Keys off in this bitch, you know what's on Big cheese in my pocket, that's provolone Chip on my shoulder bone and I'm blowing strong Step back, all your nose is gone No pills, still I'm rolling on I'm doing better, honey How I kick it, you would think I pun it And plus I'm way past gunning You niggas is out of order Got a bitch named Fergie finna meet me about a butter With a 20 wop order But that's another story uh, It really ain't important You really can't afford it so I'ma dumb it down, keep it on the surface But I will holla at you if you wanna make a purchase I got niggas selling movies, I got bitches selling purses And chicks off the school studying to be nurses uh, I'm something that you rarely see Like a cranberry tree, money will you marry me? Cause I hustle, 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 c
can't knock a nigga, and you 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 can't kn